We're pleased now to be joined by Bill Coleman. He's the ASIP Executive Officer. Bill, tell me what you come to learn about the ASIP members' interests and their expertise. Well, the, the members of the American Society for Investigative Pathology are mostly basic scientists. Uh, some scientists who work in translational areas or more clinical research, uh, but everybody is interested in mechanisms of disease. And so we have people that, that approach mechanisms of disease from various different uh, perspectives, genetics, biochemistry, cell biology, uh, but they're all interested in mechanisms of disease, models of disease, uh, and include things like uh, inflammation and cancer and, and things like that. What's the value of this annual meeting and what do you feel like the value is that the ASIP members bring to the table? The annual meeting is always very popular because people like to see each other face to face and to network and to be able to interact in a personal way as well as to hear about all the latest things that people are doing in their research labs. Uh, and in this particular meeting, the experimental biology meeting, is particularly valuable because of the co-localization of the other societies because lots of our members have overlap with other societies that participate in experimental biology and so they have the advantage of being able to see their colleagues from other fields as well as to hear about the science that those people are doing. Tell me a little bit, of, a little bit about the Career Central Micro Learning Hub and what do you hope that people will take away from it? Uh, the Career Central is a reboot sort of of the, uh, the old career center that we used to have at the experimental biology meeting. It's a collaboration between the five participating societies in experimental biology. The micro learning hubs themselves are short talks primarily, uh, which are 30 minutes or less. A couple are a little bit longer than that uh, on a variety of topics related to professional development, career development, networking, things that affect the trainees primarily, uh, graduate students and postdocs, but also people who are looking to transition into their early careers. And so there'll be, there's a number of different topics. We have about 40 sessions between Sunday and Tuesday, uh, basically every half hour. Um, and these sessions will cover a, a spectrum of topics that will be of interest to people who are, who are in these sorts of positions. And so they'll be able to, um, to pick and choose uh, the topics that are most pertinent to where their current career stage is, but also to anticipate their next career stage and what they might need for that. That's great. Well, thanks for stopping by and taking the time and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you.